to today's Godcast, which is integers and keeping a positive attitude, named aptly so because we're dealing with positive and negative numbers when we talk about integers. Uh, we're going to look at three things today. Um, first and foremost, we're going to identify exactly what an integer is, so a positive and a negative number. Um, we're going to look at a number line and what a number line can be used for. Um, and then lastly, we're going to look at opposite integers or zero pairs. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's take a look. Okay, so what we've got here is a, uh, a number line. So we're sort of jumping ahead a little bit here. And this is a little applet or a little manipulative online that, again, I can provide for you. It's not a problem at all. So the first thing to note is uh, what an integer is. An integer is a number that can be plotted on a number line, which is what you see here, that has either a positive or a negative value. Um, now it's really important to note that a positive number may not necessarily have the plus sign in front of it, but a negative number always has to have that negative number, that negative sign in front of it, so that we can identify it. Um, so it's giving us the activity here, and we're going to uh, just plot these numbers on the number line. So it says locate the number on the number line, and it's just giving us uh, a has to equal negative six, b negative three, and so on and so forth. So all we have to do is uh, click and drag these little um, buttons here to wherever the value is that it, it gives us. So the first one for a gives us negative six. So we have to drag a to where negative six is, and the way we find that is we start at zero and we count down, all right? All the negative numbers appear to the left of the zero. So if we count down, every five is marked off for us. So if that's negative five, then that means this one right here that I'm circling has to be negative six. So we're gonna grab that and we're gonna plot there and it tells us that we're correct. For B, it wants negative three. So again, we're gonna use negative five as a marker. We know that negative three, even though it's a lower number, it's actually higher than negative six. It's getting closer to zero. So it's actually a higher number. You think of a temperature, negative three is warmer than negative six. So we're gonna grab B and we're gonna drag it. And it's always important to note that as we move right onto this number line, our numbers are getting higher and higher. C is placed right on zero, so we can do that. See, we're correct, yay. And D is on plus two. Again, it's not displayed, it's just known. E is on plus four, and F is on plus six, okay? So that's how a number line works, okay? So it's pretty easy concept to recognize. Um, it's also a pretty easy concept to recognize the difference between positive and negative. Negative numbers are low, positive numbers are higher, okay? What we're gonna talk about next is the idea of identifying opposite integers or zero pairs. And that's what this page is going to do. Okay, so we get two tokens here, two buttons. It gives us a circle with a white A, which is um, to identify the original integer, and the black letter is to identify the opposite. So right here it says, what number is two more than zero? Well, we know that to be two, okay? Now we need to know, what is the opposite of positive two? Well, the zero pair, or the opposite integer, would be the same number only on the negative side. Okay, so that is negative two. For B, what number is two less than six? All right, so we just go to six. What's two, six minus two? Well, that gives us plus four. And the opposite is negative four. What number is four more than two? So we go all the way to the six, and the opposite of six is negative six. As simple as that, okay? What number is four more than negative five? Now this one's a bit tricky. We have to recognize that negative five is over here and we want something that's more than negative five, all right? So we're not, our number is actually not going to get larger, all right? We're moving closer to the zero, so the number is actually, the physical number is actually going to get smaller, but in terms of math, it's actually a larger number. So a number that's four more than negative five is negative one, and the opposite of that is positive one. I know this can come off tricky, but that's basically what we're looking at. 
Okay, so let's review what we looked at today. Um, the first thing that we did was we identified what an integer is. Remember that it's a positive and a negative number. Um, a positive integer doesn't necessarily have to have that plus sign there, but a negative integer always needs to have the negative sign, and that's how we differentiate. Think of a thermometer, think of time zones, um, think of golf scores, anything like that. Um, and that should really simplify what it is all about. After that, we took a look at a number line and what a number line is. Um, and it's just a method of displaying information. Um, remember that a thermometer is a great example of a number line in sort of a vertical fashion. In that case, below zero is the negatives, above zero at the top is positives. When you flip a number line onto its side, the left of the zero is the negatives and on the right is the positives, okay? Um, and that was illustrated through the exercise that we just used, or that we just did, sorry. The last thing are zero pairs or opposite integers, and those are the tricky things, but it's just that idea that both of them are the same distance from zero, they're just on opposite sides. So if you think of positive two, the opposite would be negative two, okay? They're both the same distance from the zero, they're just positive and negatives. Um, so I hope that sort of brings to light what integers are all about. It's really going to come into play when we talk about algebra next week and equations and all that exciting stuff. This is just a precursor to that. If you have any questions, again, please do not hesitate to come and ask me. That is what I'm here for. Um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Hope you have a great night and uh, later days.